my previous employer, one of my favorite companies in the world, Wardbeck Systems, uh, shutting down manufacturing, and I acquired three tools from them. These were my three favorite tools at Wardbeck. Uh, four, I bought the engraver, but that was through a different guy. Um, why are these cool? Okay, the way I've been told, whether it's true or not, doesn't really matter, is this is the first tool Wardbeck bought as a company or like one of the first drill presses they had. And regardless, it's been with the company the whole time. So if you have a module that has any piece of metal in it, this machine had something to do with it. So, you know, whether it was making, tapping holes, drilling screws, um, that was it. This is, this is the one. And, and I said, well, I have to, this is, um, you know, I'm into antique machines and this is as antique as it really gets. And, and it's, um, I'm a real privilege to have it. It is a, a Canadian B126. So I'm going to look that up and, and see if, um, see if, uh, see if it has any other significance. This is the corner shear. I love this tool and you can buy these new, but I'm like, yeah, this is the one. Um, you can cut PCBs with it and you can cut corners into metal, plastic, absolutely anything. Um, it's very sharp. It's very clean cut. So I don't have a shear to do any kind of, uh, sheet metal work. So this is the closest thing I have and I'm very excited to have it because it is a very, very useful tool. Super duper useful. And then this is the kick press. So anything that had a PEM insert, which is like a little screw kind of embedded into metal, um, went through this machine. And any thing that had something pressed on it was likely pressed with this machine. It's a cool piece of metalworking and why is it so cool is because down here you have a removable fixture plate that you can replace with other things uh, or you can put t-slots and you can re replace this this holder or this die and the dies that i got are various shapes and sizes and there's one or two super duper cool ones in here so this is you know a perfect round and I don't have a micrometer on me you know this is for I think this is for a it hasn't been used in a while this is for a switch so the switch wouldn't rotate it had these two little nubs and all of these tools big square you know round thing little little straight cup thing um, they cut different patterns and different you know, little, little brooches. I think this is the one that did the um, little floating T nuts. I'd have to look, but I think this is the this is the one that did the floating T nuts. And then I think there's a second one that puts the little divot in. Uh, all of these things, you know, for inserting PEMs or, like I say, cutting little holes or, or little trimming things is um, pretty cool. Then there's also these. They're like uh, brake dies folding you know set it up do some folding in there pretty excited about uh getting it going and and there was also like i say you know all these different different hole sizes precision holes precision squares this is a uh, d style for um for like bncs you know square buttons etc etc some 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 cool stuff a lot of this hasn't been used in a while and um you know it's just kind of understandable because it's, it's, it's highly specialized tooling but there's one okay let's see if i can find it that really kind of made me smile and it was let me put this down i don't know where it went but um this punch punched out the logo. So on every console and every um, 
yeah, on every console and every like piece of gear, they would get an extrusion or like a like a. Uh, I wish I had a piece, but it was um, it was a um, cast logo, and this punch would go into a die. So there's a die for it someplace here, and this would punch out the logo from the rough cast. And so I, I feel privileged to get this stuff like uh I paid money for it obviously um and um yeah, i'm really happy to have this and this is my own personal metal shop uh it has just been consumed by other things um and um yeah i'm i'm excited to to start kicking and start cutting and uh i think i'm gonna gonna do some projects soon thanks for watching